Welcome to my channel, a place I share my art experiences. By the way, my name is Leslie, an artist from California, San Francisco. Hi, I am Taco. I am the assistant so my master can focus on art. Today we would like to share with you behind scenes story of this fashion painting and the process we complete this art. We will also explain the difference between East and West art painting materials. Hope you like it. So let's start. First of all, let me give you some introduction about uh, the materials I use. So I use both Western paint and also the Chinese paint. This is a popular brand, it's called Mali, and you can get it from Amazon. I will include the links below, and uh, that's what it looks like. And also I have some of the watercolor brushes and the Chinese brushes and also this one is the dried ink it's the black dried ink this is one of my favorite brushes it's called the angle brush and uh, this one this size size 6 is the best one I like 45 degree so one brush is functioning as two when you use both sides so I'm going to use this a lot today I really like it so this looks like a, it's the set of these brushes and uh, the way to use Chinese dried ink is to activate it using water so you add a little bit of water there then stir it push a little bit harder and uh, stir until the liquid becomes more condensed and ready to use kind of fun and uh, it's widely used in Chinese brush painting so you can use brushes to practice the characters also for Chinese painting I think it's very cool so I would like to try it on canvas the difference between the Chinese paint and the Western paint is this is not transparent. Maybe I have another video talk about the differences between the Western and the Eastern art supplies. Water based Eastern paint. The pigments are mineral or plant based. And black ink MO is made from burning pine resins, widely used in traditional Chinese calligraphy. In old days, people used MO to write or paint on rice paper or silk fabrics. 
On the other hand, Western water-based paint is from synthetic materials. Other choices are acrylic and gouache. However, there are colors in Chinese system, uh, signature colors. It's very unique. So I would like to always use them. To, to try different uh, uh, materials. I recommend you try the Chinese brand. You might like it. It's fun. I like to use different uh, painting materials. I think uh, it's good to represent uh, uh, different texture of the objects. Okay, let's go back to the painting. I started from draft and the sketch use colors and I add more and more details. One different thing is I use the salt effect in this painting. And the salt in watercolor is a very common technique. And you can try, it's very easy. When the salt dissolves in the water, you need to wet the paper first, then add a color. And when it's dry, the salt will create a different pattern that's so beautiful. It's very unique. And also you can try different type of salt and a different shape, uh, big or small, to create a different patterns. I really love it. I enjoy watercolor. And in this art, the top part, the feather part, I used the watercolor mainly. Um, because the watercolor is light transparency to create uh, a light material feeling and the bottom part the skirt and the uh, gloves I use the Chinese paint as the type of special blue because um, it's opaque so it create a, a little bit more thicker material feeling And at the top of the background or the circles, I use the bottom of the cups and uh, create a uh, water uh, mark. It's supposed to be the lights, reflection of the lights on the stage. I think that was my fun part. The face and the thin lines, I use the Chinese brush pen, a small brush, uh, normally used for a special kind of painting called a gongbi brush painting because it's a tiny small so you can draw super tiny lines or uh, fine lines for all the details. I think it's very unique. I really like a watercolor because it's just so much fun. You can try so many different things. I love the watermark. I like the liquid, uh, you know, uncertainty. And you can do more or less. That's the beauty of watercolor. It's just so much fun. It's playful. Now it is your turn. Why not try something you learned today and make your own art for me? I'm glad you're still here with me. Thank you Tago for being my great assistant. If you would like to learn more, please like and subscribe. See you next time.